we are live. We're doing the soulmate reading tonight for the collective. What's up, girl? How are you? We need to um, read together again. Thanks for being here. Hi, Chrissy. Hi, guys. Are you ready for a um, little soulmate reading tonight? I'm using one, two, three, four, a bunch of um, decks, oracle cards, and then I guess I should probably pick a tarot deck too. <laughs> Let's go with the the regular Rider Waite deck. Hey girl, hi. How's everybody doing tonight? How's everybody liking the wind? Is it really windy where you are? I'm gonna just kind of wave at everyone as you come in. Um, and then we'll get started, give it a couple minutes and then we'll get started. Is everybody enjoying the win? So soulmate reading tonight, we got a few cards to go through plus the, um, the, uh, um, uh, I'm sorry. I'm having like wind brain today, I guess. <laughs> I feel kind of like out of it. There you go. The hermit. That's why I'm out of it. Hermit mode. I don't know where that card belongs. I wasn't even trying to pull a card yet, but let's go ahead and get started since we've got a bunch joining us already. All right. Ready? Okay, so let's get started. First card, overall energy. Overall energy in this soulmate reading for the collective. What's going on with you and your soulmate? We started off in 2021, a little bumpy from uh, the collective readings that I've been doing and then also um, the private readings that I do. By the way, this is Playtime with Viv. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting. Um, these are just free readings that I do every Tuesday for the collective. If you're here, then most likely something is going to resonate with you. Just take what resonates with you leave what doesn't resonate. Um, if you want a private reading, please, please, please DM me and we will set that up. We can certainly do that. I do boss wave readings, divine feminine empowerment, rising goddess, <clears throat> soulmate readings, soul flame readings, all of it. Sage and rise readings, which are, which are uh, just kind of like check-in energy readings. So welcome, welcome. Let me know if you would like a private reading. Grab a drink, get comfy, put your candles on, get your crystals. I already um, cleared and saged everything earlier, but I am going to be um, shuffling on camera. That's just my flavor. I like to shuffle on camera. All right. So overall energy, we got the we got the hermit already. So we're gonna we're gonna just we'll speak on the hermit, but. I need to see you this week. Yes, girlfriend. Yes, you do need to come see me this week. Please come over tomorrow. Come over tomorrow. DM me, text me. I hope you got my text about Miss Nadia. I sent you a text. Um, but yes, come over this week. Hey, girl, what's up from Texas? Hey, hey. What's up, girl? Let's do this. So... I'm going to pull an overall energy, but I feel like that I need to speak on the Hermit because the Hermit popped out. It's a major arcana card, which means it's a big spiritual type of card. It is um, a transformative card, right? Whenever these major arcanas come out, this is about this person kind of went into Hermit mode, right? So we're going to make this assumption that this person is in Hermit mode. They kind of retracted right and when you go into hermit mode you're you're searching for something see how this hermit is kind of like walking around and he's got this little lantern so he's looking for something he's searching for something assuming that your soulmate is a he it could be a she of course um but we're gonna go ahead and just start the reading off with that okay let's see before i go Jessica, Lynette, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, Sue, hey, what's up, girl? All right, so overall energy. What's the overall energy of this soulmate reading? 
overall energy of this soulmate reading. Oh, snap. You guys. <sighs> these cards are. <laughs> I. It's interesting because the eight of wands and the seven of cups together. It's a very interesting connection because the eight of wands is a card of moving forward. It's fast action. It's movement. It's change. It could be an actual literal movement or it could be some sort of change, but it's def definitely wand energy, which is fire and passion. So there's, there's this, this movement in a direction, but of more confusion because or more options because the the seven of cups is a card of options it's like i got a lot of options i'm not really sure which way to go there's confusion um you know do i go here do i do this do i do that do i hang out with this girl or that girl or that guy um do i move forward but there's definitely a lot of change and movement and action within this soulmate so not really sure what else is going on there, but let's keep pulling cards. So he's been in this hermit mode. He's been in this, hi, Wendell. Hi, hey girl, what's up, Suhei? So he's been in this hermit mode, but also wanting to take this action um, from this confused state. So that can't be a good thing. That could be like a really big mess. Taking action and movement but also being confused, also being um, having all of these options and not really knowing which direction to go. So let's see what happened in the past. What what is the past energy with you and this soulmate? Whoa. Okay. Yeah. You guys are watching these puppies. We got poppers tonight. What happened in the past? Heartbreak. This person broke your heart. They broke your heart. Maybe they. Um, abandoned you or rejected you maybe you guys were in a relationship and they broke up with you um but there was definitely some heartbreak it could could have had to do with other people like a three um could have been maybe this person was already in another relationship um but re regardless there was some heartbreak there so let's go on and see what what's going on now what's occurring so in the past we had some heartbreak so let's see what else what what do we have going on now what is the current energy what is the current energy this connection what is the current energy okay wow that's a lot of freaking cards but fuck it <laughs> fuck it let's take them let's take them so what do we have here the six of wands the page of cups and the two of wands all right, so currently this person, your soulmate, is, you know, they they want to move forward. It's like they're they've got this victory mindset. They're they're in a positive mindset. They want to make an offer of love. Um, you know, they they want to win. They want to beat this. They wanna they wanna move forward. And so they are in this positive mindset, but they are going to need to make a decision of some sort. They're going to have to choose a path because the two of wands is, you know, you're, you're like looking into the future. So this person is looking into the future. They have a positive, victorious type of mindset, and they do want to make this offer of some sort. It is a lo love offer, but it's not a big one. It's not like, hey, let's get married. That's not the kind of offer that a Page of Cups um, would offer. The Page of Cups would be more of like, I miss you, you know, like a lame ass text. <laughs> That's not lame. That's sweet. But it's a very premature, um, very initial type of, of reaching out or offer. It could be like, let's hang out. Um, you know, let's let me shoot a text and see how you're doing. I miss you, but it's not anything of depth. So don't expect for him to come, you know, riding in on his horse um, with this proposal and this engagement, uh, you know, moving into the future. Like, no, it, it's not like that. But 
This person is moving away from this heartbreak energy, right? This heartbreak energy was in the past. So moving away and looking to be more victorious, looking to be more for on a positive um, energy and maybe reaching out to you in the near future, okay? So that's that sounds fun. This is, we're talking about your soulmate here. What are their thoughts? So currently, what are their thoughts? right? Currently, what are their thoughts about you, about this connection? What are their thoughts about you and this connection? Oh, oh, okay. We got the star, y'all. What did I say? What did I say that made you laugh, Vanessa? What did I say? I don't know. Sometimes I just talk. I'm not really sure what I'm saying. Uh-oh, I got Miss Marie in the hizzy. Um, we got the star card for what their thoughts are. They see you as just the light. They see you in a very positive light. They see you as just glorious and joyful and positive energy. Um, they see you as like literally like a dream person. They, they might even feel like they're not good enough for you. Hmm. I don't know why I got that, but that's what I'm feeling like they... They see you in such a divine, feminine, beautiful, yeah, yeah, exactly, confused. Yes, that's the seven of cups, that's confused, but wanting to move forward, but still confused. But, but they're clear in this, at least, that you're a star. They see you as a star. They see you as this, this light, um, positive energy, very hopeful, um, very positive, you know, they see you as this, the divine feminine. And I feel like maybe they don't, they don't think that they're good enough for you. And you are receiving that as you don't feel like you're good enough for them because they withdraw. So maybe they withdraw, they kind of disappear. Um, you know, they're not in their power around you or they're kind of maybe rejecting you. There was like this breakup in the past or this heartbreak. They've been in hermit mode. They're confused or wanting to move forward, but they're confused about how or where. If they do make an effort and send a message, it's not a very, um, you know, I, I'm not going to say it's not important, but it's not a big message of depth. It's nothing like, hey, let's get back together or let's, get engaged or let's move in or it's nothing like that it's more of just a hey what's up right w y d lane <laughs> i'm kidding um so yes definitely mirroring mirroring but seeing you as very special they this this soulmate if you're here what listening and watching this reading this soulmate sees you as special and there's something here where he doesn't think that he can match up to you. And he probably can't. I'm kidding. Maybe. Maybe I'm kidding. Because <laughs> you know you are beautiful and amazing and special and strong and confident and you're all the things. And so... If he can't give you what it is that you need, then he needs to let you go, right? Of course he needs to let you go. If you're the star, then what is he holding on for? What are you going to send me this weak-ass message for? Like, what, do, what am I going to do with that? I'm the motherfucking star, right? Shit. Okay. <laughs> All right. So those are his thoughts. He sees you as very special. When he thinks about you, he thinks you're very special and very you know, out of his league. All right, let's just keep it real. And so what, how does he view you? How does he view? We already know he thinks you're the star. He already, we already know he thinks you're very special. So how does he view you? Wrong number, pal. <laughs> yep, bye. <laughs> he can, but he's scared, right? Come on, baby boys. Come on. Go get what you want and what you know. Oh, oh. He knows you're a soulmate. The lovers. Boom. Here we go. Soulmate reading. And we get the motherfucking lovers, y'all. Oh, my God. 
I always like the energy always shifts whenever I do readings and I pull the lover's card because the lover's card is a very, very powerful major arcana. It's the twin flame card. It's the soulmate card. It's, it's the divine counterpart connection card. So this is powerful energy. This is not just somebody that, you know, you met at a bar and you never see again. That's not this guy. Like this guy is, he's, he's the soulmate. He's the person that shifts your reality. He's the person that awakens you, right? And so he's viewing you as the lover's card. He's viewing you as a counterpart, a divine counterpart. He's viewing you as this soulmate. So he, he knows, he knows how special you are. He knows that you're not just any woman. Interesting. Okay, well, what are his emotions? What are his emotions about you? Love, the love. Hey, Tani, what's up, girlfriend? Oh, what's up, Bruja? <laughs> Welcome, sister. We're, if you guys are, if you missed part of this reading, it's gonna be like on my feed and on IGTV, so you can go back to it. Um, but bam, you guys, we pulled the lover's card. That was the last card. And how your counterpart, how he's viewing you, how he's viewing you. So what are his, we're, right now we're looking for his emotions. What are his emotions? What are his emotions about you, about this connection? Like, does he even have emotions? <laughs> I'm kidding again. I'm so bitter today. God, why am I so salty? Sheesh, I need a, I don't know, maybe a glass of wine or, I'm so salty today, you guys. Come on, he's a good guy. Let's let's give him this. Look at, he's nine of pentacles. He, nine of pentacles. You know, he he's in a pretty positive energy. Which is good. You you definitely want your counterpart to be in a positive energy, right? You he's hopeful. We've got the star now and the nine of of pentacles. He's working on himself. He's working on his his earth energy, on his stability, on his foundation. He's working on his hopes and whatever his dreams are, right? The hopes and dreams card, the bliss card, right? The nine of pentacles. So he's definitely sees he's working on that for himself but he also sees his emotions for you are this so he's not in a negative energy about you not salty just realistic all right let's just let's say i'm realistic not salty I feel a little salty though but it's okay <laughs> i think it's just like i don't know the weather's weird and like i don't know but i'm sure i'll be better tomorrow um, so, well, like, he's not salty, though, right? Twin flame soulmate, he's not salty. He's, he's blissful. He's, he's in a really good attitude lately. And, um, he sees you in a positive light and he sees you as his, his wish come true. That's literally, that's how he's feeling about you. Those are, that's his emotions about you. But there is this little element of, him like not really the feeling that he is at your level he's not fully confident right we're not at the ten of pentacles here you guys i want to share the this candle by the way that i'm burning can you see that what does that say <laughs> classy bitch ronnie gave me this how divine is this right it should have said divine classy bitch like, I'm offended. I'm offended. <laughs> I'm new here. Who has a twin flame? Yes. Girl, who has a twin flame? That's a loaded ass freaking question, girlfriend. <laughs> classy. It should say divine classy bitch. Divine classy bitch. <laughs> I'm a fucking lady. <laughs> That's right, girlfriend. <laughs> All right. Um. Girl one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, you need to get a one-on-one -on -one for sure. You guys need a one-on-one. -on -one. If you want a personal reading on your twin flame journey or soulmate journey or whatever, <clears throat> just do, uh, DM me. All right, where was I? So um, uh, how do they see the two of you moving forward? Remember, this is a general reading for the collective. 
it, it will resonate with you in ways, but it's always better to get your own personal reading because remember your energy, your subconscious is what is drawing, drawing the cards. I'm just interpreting them. Okay. So right now we're doing a general reading for the collective. So whatever resonates with you, take that, leave what doesn't resonate with you. Okay. All right. So how do they see you moving forward? Well, the tower. Interesting. We know that the tower card is a card of uh, instant changes, right? Um, it's it's a shaking up. It's a movement. It's it's kind of like a unexpected change, and so maybe they see you know an order for you two to move forward that this change has to occur, whatever it is. Maybe they need to make changes. Well, no, because they're not really making changes with the tower. The tower doesn't, you're not involved in the changes with the tower, right? You really don't have anything to do with it. It's spirit, it's energy, it's your, it's law of attraction, it's all the things. It's, it comes in and it makes the shift and you don't really have a choice in the matter. However, it's beneficial for you. It's up to you and how you want to look at it. But I see it as a beneficial thing because once this tower is shaken, once your your reality is changed and, and you're shaken up, right? It's a shaking up type of, en of energy, then you have no choice but to make changes. So yes, um, I don't, I didn't, I didn't announce the, the thing, by the way, I'm, um, you guys look on my page, me and Ronnie just posted today. We're, um, hosting another day treat. Uh, this one's in Santa Barbara on Saturday, March 13th. You definitely need to be at this one. Don't be stupid and miss it. Cause the other one was absolutely amazing. So check out my page. Um, it's on March 13th. It is a day treat, but there are options for uh, overnight stay as well. So so they so this is what what i'm trying to say they see you moving forward but like some major shit would have to happen so i don't know what that means like that could be like they need to move right because maybe you live really far away from each other or maybe um they're married they're currently married or in a relationship and they they need to end that um or something needs to shift within that relationship so like a major shift would need to happen okay so yes wendy was great okay so <clears throat> what's going on behind the scenes what what do we what do we need to see that's behind the scenes well you guys are got you guys got poppers the seven of wands like there's like there's as, as in a good mood as he is, right? He's trying to find victory with, with the six, right? He's trying to find this victory. He's wanting to make this gesture, this page of cups energy of, you know, the small gesture of love. He's wanting to, he sees you as this positive wish come true. This is how he views you as a wish can come true, right? Um, but regardless, you've got the seven of wands, which is like this defensive energy. Like there's some, some, some stuff going on in the background that maybe you don't know about. Is there an attorney here? <laughs> I don't know. Um, that was for you, girl. Okay, sister. Um, yeah, he's, he's defensive right now. Like. There is this defensive energy and I'm not really sure what's going on. Like you would probably know um, what it is, but it's a defensive type of energy. He's having to take a stand um, about something. What was I reading? I was reading behind the scenes. Yeah. So he's having to take a stand about something. He's having to have courage um, for something. Yeah, he's... He's not quite in his power yet, which is why he, it's almost like he's waiting for the tower to do the work for him. Oh, come on, weenie. Oh, come on. That's what this is. Y'all. Yeah. So he's waiting for some outside occurrence, some drastic change to happen in order for things to move forward because he doesn't quite have the courage yet 
to do what he needs to do, right? <laughs> I know, I talk a lot of shit. Okay, I told you guys that I was a little salty today, so <laughs> I'm sorry. That's gonna come out in the reading. <laughs> Come on, Divine Masculine. Come on, Mr. Soulmate. You got to find that courage within yourself. You got to find the courage. If you know she's so amazing and so special, grow up. Yeah, grow a pair, like Moni says. Grow a pair and move, move forward in action, right? Move forward in action. Don't wait for the universe to make something happen for you fuck that like come on seriously what are we 12 years old here all right so what are, what's what's some advice from tarot what's some advice from tarot whoa king of swords yeah advice from tarot like you know because we're reading about him right your soulmate advice from tarot is he's got to step into his power the king of swords sits on his throne with his sword of truth you know, he sits on his his throne with his sword of truth. He is confident. He knows he's communicating his what he believes is true and real. Um, he is, uh, you know, being very logical about whatever this is. He's strategizing, right? Tarot, tell him to leave me alone. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, you should do a private reading and see if we could see what's going on with your with your soulmate. But yeah, he needs to step into his power. He needs to step into his truth. He needs clarity. He needs to see things for what they truly are, communicate his truth to his divine counterpart, to you, right? And what else? Let's see. Um, <coughs> what's a potential outcome? Remember, I still have a bunch of Oracle cards, so you guys can't leave me yet. Um, what, what is, what was it again? What, oh yeah, what's the potential outcome for you and your person that's lacking some courage at the moment? What is the potential outcome? Let's see, what do we have? No, potential outcome. Well, I mean... It's going to take time, and I'm not surprised at all that that card came out. It's going to take some planning. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some building. It's going to take some working on and being diligent and continue being con continuously working on whatever this is. I'm going to just say that my I feel like he he's he's working on his courage. He's working on gaining that courage. He's working on seeing things clearly and seeing um, his reality and not waiting for the universe to do his dirty work, right? He's got to do it himself. He's got to step into his power. He's got to have his own courage and move, move forward towards this divine feminine that is, she's a star. She's very special and he knows it, but he's not quite there. He's not quite there. So let's see what other messages we have for you. These are messages for you from the Angel Oracle. Let's see. Are y'all still with me? Angel messages for you, Divine Feminine. Angel messages. Listening. Listening. So I think that card is, is not only... I mean, you can see this woman here. She's looking up to spirit, to angels, right? So get in the energy of listening. So pray. <coughs> Prayer is asking. And then meditation is receiving. So definitely pray and ask for what it is that you want. But then meditate and listen for the responses. Listen to music. Definitely get into your alignment with who you truly are and your safe space, your safe space, right? Music always heals me. Whenever, whenever I'm salty, like tonight, <laughs> I like listen to music. So I think that's what I need to do is listen to some music. Let's see, one more card for the Angel Oracles, New Love. Oh, okay. So, you know, whether it be this guy or girl 
or someone else, there's definitely something new coming. Something new is coming. New love is coming. And as you continue to meditate and pray and be in love with all aspects of your life, then you mirror that and the universe brings that back to you, right? And do whatever the things are that help you heal. And for me, that's music. And I would think that that's for a lot of people, right? Let's pull some um, romance angel cards and see him or better. Yeah, that's that's right. Thank you for reminding me that. Love the the new look the new love card is about new love coming in whether that be a transformation a transformation with the love that you're currently in the relationship that you're currently in or somebody completely new coming in and giving you that love that you know that you deserve but new love is coming it's in the air it's in your reading it's in this reading so maybe this soulmate you know, maybe he just is planning and planning and planning, planning and planning and he never does anything and he never come towards you and he never makes an effort or, or has the courage. And so guess what? A new soulmate comes in. It's, it's all good. Like everything happens as it should. So him or better, 100%. <clears throat> Release your ex. Release your ex. So if this is a person that's your ex, then let them go. Regardless, you know, you got to let them go because if they're not in their power and they're not coming towards you and they're not giving you what you deserve, then you have to release them. And when you release them, then this energy of new love comes in, right? Then the energy of new love comes in. And again, whether that be them, that they wake up and they awaken and they realize what they're losing or who you are, or it just moves forward and somebody new comes in that you align with and it's, and it's beautiful too. So what else? Let's see. Let's do one of these little ones. And I just feel like pulling a moon card. Let's see what the moon... These are these tiny little relationship cards. Pure wonder, welcome. Starry. <laughs> Tani. What's up, girlfriend? We need to do a reading, sister. Um, all right, there's way too many cards. One card, one card. We don't have all night here. All right, we'll take two. Okay, yep. Why do I always pull these twin flame cards? There's a lot of twin flames that you, my collective, my community, there's a lot of twin flames. I know this, even with readings that I've done. Twin flames, twin flames, two cards already suggesting that this is a twin flame connection. Well, no wonder, right? Twin flame relationships are really hard. It's no joke, you guys. The golden mirror, you're mirroring each other right? It's, it's, it's a very difficult connection because the twin flame connection is basically going to show you yourself. It's, it's, it's going to show you all of your wounds and your traumas, and you're going to have to go inside to heal and to face it. And this person mirrors that to you. And so it's, it's a very difficult connection. It's not a regular soulmate type of connection where you're just like in bliss and they're your best friends. And yes, you have this deep, deep love for them. Absolutely, 100%. Um, but that's what, that's what forces you to do the work. That's what pushes you to step into your power and to align to your soul and to get in union with your soul first, to get in union with you and source. And once you're in union and you're in Zen and in love with all aspects of your life and you release the twin flame and you allow them to journey in their way, then you, you come into union. And look, again, it and it doesn't mean that this twin flame has to come back and be in a relationship with you it doesn't always work that way um because sometimes the universe will send you new love a, a, a soulmate that you can complete complete 
uh, your journey with. And that's beautiful too. So, but, but man, you know, twin flame relationships are not easy. It's, they're very difficult and they're very challenging. But at the same time, they're so beautiful because you awaken to yourself. Let's do one more of these. And I guess since we're doing twin flames, I guess I'll pull a little twin. All right, hold on, y'all. This flew out. Ugh. Not enough. What did I say? He doesn't feel like he's enough. He doesn't feel like he is at your level. Not right now. He's not completely confident. He's working on that. Um... But he lacks confidence. He's in his ego right now. So he doesn't feel like he's good enough. Maybe he he financially isn't where he wants to be. Maybe he's in another karmic relationship. And so he feels guilty and or she. Um, and so they, they just aren't going to be able to move forward with you. Not at this time. But they know that you're amazing. <clears throat> they do. Let's see, what else do we have here? These are some twin flame cards. It's too many. Almost done, couple more cards. Couple more cards. Whoa. I was on it, I wasn't honest with you about my feelings at the time. It's easier being with someone from my world. Yeah, he's not confident. This soulmate, this twin flame, whatever it is, is not confident. He does not, he is not able to give you what you need and what you deserve at, at this moment. And even though he may reach out with an insignificant, um, you know, love message or whatever, it's very nice. Um, but he still has a ways to go to meet you where, where you deserve to be met and to give you what you deserve. So, all right, kiddos, this is it. If you need a private reading, DM me. I love you. Thank you for being here. Bye. How do I end this? Oh, I can't end, I can't end this video. So maybe I should just keep reading. What do you think? Should I keep reading? Oh, I don't know how to end this video. Invited me. Isn't it like at the top right? Oh, I could see who, who was here with me. Oh, nice.